Also want to bring you the latest developments now at the Warwick schools today. Dozens of teachers did call out sick, but school is in session as normal. Now we're hearing more about the teacher contract situation and also the school consolidation plan that's now in debate. I've been a news reporter Jared Pliner working those details from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Jared. Danielle, good afternoon. That's right, the tale of the Warwick sick out. What exactly took place over the last 24 hours behind closed doors? Well, it depends on whom you ask. A Wednesday warning from Warwick superintendent to parents that teachers might call out on Thursday to protest stalled contract talks. Here's the union's president last night. All of that is a lie. There, there is no sick out. I never pressured anyone to call out sick. The only people who will be out sick tomorrow who are people who are sick or maybe have a family illness or funeral or some other reason that they can't be in school. So what happened? We did have a higher absence rate than uh, usual with 82 teachers out today, but our schools are open. That's out of 882 teachers. Thornton says the absence figures on the high end of what he normally expects. Unfortunately, right now we're running in the 60s on, on, on several days. Our Friday is our worst day of the week. Warwick teachers have been without a contract for over a year. Mediation recently broke down between both sides. Thornton says he learned from district sources yesterday that meetings were held before school with votes taken to call out. Darlene Netko said administration never tried to confirm what she called a rumor. No one ever called the union office. The superintendent has my cell phone number and I have his and he never called me. I can tell you in, in some of the schools since our memo yesterday went out, some teachers um, unselected their sickness. In one school, Greenwood Elementary, we had five individuals sick and now we only have one. Parent Joanna Campbell says she supports the teachers. I go to my job every day knowing exactly what I, I'm getting what I deserve and the teachers aren't. So I guess it's like a, a rock and a hard place. And I just got off the phone with the union. The president says she urges people not to read too much into that 82 figure. She gives says given the fact that it is cold and flu season, she does not find that figure to be alarming. For now, live in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom this noon time. I'm Jared Planner, Eyewitness News.